Hello everyone and welcome to this video tutorial of PrestaShop WorldPay Payment Gateway module. In this video, I'll explain you the process to configure the module and I'll also show you that how using this module you can provide the WorldPay payment method to your customers so that they can accordingly use this payment method to pay for their order. So let's just go to the PrestaShop back office where I have already installed this module. As you can see that uh, in my PrestaShop, the WorldPay payment method is already installed. So let's proceed to configure the module. On proceeding to configure the module, you will land onto this page. This is the configuration settings page of the module. On this page, there are not enough options. Here you can only choose whether you want to use this module in test mode or live mode and accordingly enter the keys for that mode. In case if you are willing to choose this module to use as test in the test mode, then you will need to enter these keys that is test service key and test client key. In case if you are opting to choose this module to use as in the live mode, then you would be needing to add this live save service key and live client key. Now to get the WorldPay payment API keys, there is some change. After the WorldPay was acquired by Pay360 360 by Capita, now the new users need to get their API keys by contacting the Pay360 by Capita. In case of old users, they can simply log, go to this dashboard of WorldPay, uh, online.worldpay.com. Here they can simply log into their account and use their previous keys that they have already generated and choose to enter those keys here and use the module. Now in case of new users, they would not be able to generate the keys from here. They would need to contact the pay 360 by capita company and they will accordingly uh, direct you how to get the api keys now after getting the api keys you can simply enter them here click on the save button and the details will be saved now let's go to the front end of the shop to know how this payment method will be uh, available to the customer Let's just add a product to the cart. Now just proceed to checkout. After proceeding to checkout, as you can see, apart from these two default payment method options, you are also getting a world pay payment option here. Now, as you can see that uh, this is a demo module. So we have also provided uh, demo details to uh, successfully make the payment using these details. You can simply uh, uh, copy these details from here and let's just proceed to make the payment. After coming here, you will need to enter the uh, details like name, card details and CVV in order to pay via world pay as you can see that after making the payment you will come to this page now you need to send the request after sending the request as you can see that the order is now confirmed and you can also see that the payment method used to pay for this order was world pay payment gateway module so this was all about the process via which a customer can easily uh, make use of this payment method to pay for the order now let's just go to the back end where i will show you that uh, the details of the transactions are also logged in a separate tab as you can see that this world pay payment tab is now added here you can just click on this world pay transactions tab and you would be able to see all the transactions that a customer made 
using the world pay now this module also allows you to manage refunds so to manage refunds we have provided the option of refund button here in the world pay transaction list only to initiate a refund you can simply click on this refund button now you can choose how you want to refund the uh, order amount either you can choose to fully refund the amount or you can also make a partial refund in case of partial refund the full amount paid by the order is automatically uh, paid by the customer is automatically filled here in the field now you can choose any amount which is less than the order amount to pay the uh, uh, pay to refund the to refund it partially now after entering the partial amount you can just simply click on the save button and uh, click on this pop up ok and the refund will be initiated so this was all about the prestashop world pay payment gateway module i hope this video helps you to configure and use the module in the best possible way thank you